How old is the universe? It is difficult to imagine that only 90 years ago, he did not know about the existence of most of the universe around us. In fact, most astronomers thought that the Milky Way contained all the stars in the universe. In 1917, Habst Curtis witnessed a nova, a sudden burst of brightness resembling a new star, within what was then referred to as the Andromeda Nebula. Novas typically emerged swiftly and then gradually dimmed over weeks or months. This intrigued Curtis, and he began looking for more novas. In photographic records, he discovered 11 more of them. But what really got him curious was when he noticed that novas in Andromeda were drastically fainter than novas in the Milky Way. Based on this, Curtis was able to estimate that Andromeda was 500,000 light years away. As a result, he became a proponent of the so-called island universes hypothesis, which held that objects previously believed to be spiral nebulae within the Milky Way were actually independent galaxies. This was a revolutionary step for mankind and cosmology, but we still assumed that the universe was static. Albert Einstein even added something called a cosmological constant to his equations to make sure the universe stayed still. Cut to 1928, and Edwin Hubble's measurements of galaxies led him to the realization that the universe was uniformly expanding. This observation implied that the universe possesses a finite age, and this age could be estimated by mathematically going back in time. With this, Edwin Hubble first estimated the universe to be only 2 billion years old, which now we know is way off from the universe's actual age. The discovery of the cosmic microwave background radiation, announced in 1965, finally brought an effective vent to the remaining scientific uncertainty over the expanding universe. While we were now sure that the universe was expanding, its true expansion rate continued to be a mystery. Over the next few decades, uncertainty surrounding the actual expansion rate sparked a vigorous debate, with estimates ranging from 8 billion to 18 billion years. The dent in the calculations showed up more pronounced when scientists began to calculate the ages of the oldest main sequence stars and found that they were more than 8 billion years old. Logically, there cannot be stars older than the universe itself, and this brought us to a dead end in cosmology. In came the Hubble Space Telescope, and in 1997 its observations triumphantly broke the dead end by announcing that the universe was not expanding at a constant rate but accelerating due to an unknown repulsive force termed as dark energy. When dark energy is factored into the universe's expansion history, astronomers arrive at an age for the universe of 13.8 billion years. But there is a problem, a parameter used in cosmology to describe the rate at which the universe is expanding, called the Hubble constant still remains up for debate. Based on fundamental physics and the cosmic background radiation, scientists believe the Hubble constant should be around 68 kilometers per second per megaparsec. But this doesn't match up to observations of the actual stars and galaxies astronomers see around our immediate vicinity. So that raises the question, what if everything we thought we knew about our universe's age is only a partial truth? Brace yourselves, for here is a shocking discovery. A group of stars in the Milky Way appears to be as old as the universe, or maybe older. Star cluster M92, a densely packed ball of stars roughly 27,000 light years from Earth, is about 13.8 billion years old. The newly refined age estimate makes this clump of stars the same age as the universe. This could break the current age of the universe and put a limit on it, thereby helping solve cosmic conundrums about how the universe evolved. The age is on the edge. As estimated by other groups, said astronomer Martin Ying of Dartmouth College, it helps us set the lower bound of the age of the universe. We don't expect the star cluster to be born before the universe, right? Globular clusters, such as M90, to consist of densely packed groups of stars, believed to have formed simultaneously, simplifying the task of determining their ages for astronomers. Stars follow different life paths depending on their mass at birth. Larger stars burn through their fuel quickly and have shorter lifespans, while smaller stars endure for longer periods. Understanding how many stars in a cluster have transitioned beyond their primary fuel burning phase provides insights into when the entire cluster originated. However, age estimations traditionally rely on assumptions about stellar evolution, seeking a more reliable method. Yang and his colleagues embarked on a groundbreaking study to refine the age of the ancient star cluster M92. They employed advanced computer modeling to generate a staggering 20,000 synthetic stellar populations for M92, each representing a possible age for the cluster. 
These simulated populations were meticulously compared with actual observations collected by the Hubble Space Telescope. Specifically, the researchers analyzed the colors and brightness of each population against the telescope's data to determine which model most closely aligned with the real-life characteristics of M92. Although the age of M92 has been estimated in previous studies, those earlier efforts relied on just a single synthetic star population, limiting their accuracy by comparing thousands of models instead of one. Yang and his team dramatically reduced the level of uncertainty tied to the assumptions built into any single model. This innovative approach led to a 50% reduction in uncertainty surrounding the age of the cluster. Using this method, the researchers concluded that N92 is approximately 13.8 billion years old, with a margin of error of about 750 million years. Remarkably, this estimate aligns strikingly well with the current best estimate for the age of the universe itself, which stands slightly above 13.8 billion years, with an error margin of only around 24 million years. However, this fascinating overlap introduces a new dilemma. If N92 is as old as the universe, or potentially even older within the margin of error, does that challenge the accuracy of our current cosmic timeline? One way to reconcile this tension is to question our estimate of the universe's age. If the so-called Hubble tension, the growing discrepancy between different measurements of the Hubble constant, is taken seriously, then we must also admit that we might not know the true age of the universe as well as we thought. This realization casts new light on a recent and controversial study published by the University of Ottawa which posits that the universe may not be 13.8 billion years old, but instead a whopping 26.7 billion years old. To sum up that model's implications, it emphasizes the peculiar existence of stars, like Methuselah, celestial bodies that appear to be older than the universe itself under current models. This idea, combined with recent discoveries made using the James Webb Space Telescope, adds further fuel to the debate. Webb has detected galaxies that formed as early as 300 million years after the Big Bang, yet they show levels of mass and maturity typically expected after billions of years of cosmic evolution. This defies our expectations and presents a profound puzzle for astronomers and cosmologists alike. Advancements in computing power, refined theoretical understanding, precise distance measurements to clusters like M92 and the discovery of primordial galaxies from the so-called dark age of the universe all point toward the need to possibly rethink our current cosmological framework. So, the question now arises, is the universe older than 13.8 billion years? And if so, do we need to adopt an entirely new approach? Renowned theoretical physicist Michio Kaku anticipated such a possibility. Reflecting on the implications of James Webb's early findings, he commented that we might soon need to tweak many of our long-held theories. Hey professor, one might ask, I've read your books, Physics of the Future, The Future of Humanity. Most say the universe is about 13 billion years old. But what if it's not? That's the problem, Kaku explained. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. Suddenly, we're beginning to realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. According to current understanding, it should take many billions of years to form a galaxy like the Milky Way, a structure composed of 100 billion stars, each many billions of years old. The web has already identified six galaxies that existed just half a billion years after the Big Bang. What's truly shocking is that these galaxies are up to 10 times more massive than the Milky Way itself. That should not be possible under existing models. There simply shouldn't be primordial galaxies larger than the Milky Way forming so soon after the Big Bang, just 500 million years into the universe's life. Something fundamental is off, and that means we may have to seriously revise our entire theory of the universe's origin, age, and evolution.